Bıraktığın yan mahkemesi. Nerede mi? Evet. Tamam, bir saniye. Aynen. 240, efendim. Hani bir ona bakarız, bak çoğu insan gelmedi. O zaman hani onları toplantılarına gidip bir 10 dakika anlatırız mesela. Hani, o o çevredeki insanlar duyuyorlar, bıraktığın yan mahkemesi ama kimse bu olduğunu bilmiyor hala. Evet. There were so many people against this war. And it was voiced in so many different ways. Still, the war happens. Personally, it was the most important thing happening in this moment. And then we have people like Bush and Blair and whoever that they decide that they know more than uh, the, the cumulative wisdom of millions of people across generations. I believe in any honest voice who's supporting the Iraqi issue. We are in the resistance. Why wouldn't I be here? We were always very serious. We didn't want to be organized properly in the proper sense. We didn't want to have hierarchies. We didn't want to have coordinators. 75 gönüllü çalışıyor. Bunların 35 tanesinden ben sorumluyum. When we came up with the idea of the tribunal, we knew we had to do it. It's a real coalition of different civil society organizations. Geldik, ne yapabiliriz diye düşündük. Ve elimizde imkanlar vardı. İşte internetten canlı yayını yapıyoruz. Kaçaldı, tane arkadaşlar. 46 tane lazım. Ben mali ve lojistik işlerden sorumlu grubun içinde idim. Lots of energy, lots of work. I coordinated with volunteers. Sadness, fighting. <gülüyor> Ofis içerisinde çalışıyorum. Saying who we did it. Ağırlıklı olarak uluslararası web sayfası ve İstanbul yerel web sayfasının düzenli olarak güncellenmesinden sorumluyum. gün boyunca bütün işte audio visual malzemeyi ayarlıyorum. Everything you can think about a human being it went into this. Burada asıl gerçekleştirdiğimiz şey bence bütün bu insanların bir iktidar ilişkisi kurmadan da bir şeyleri değiştirecek güce sahip olabilmesi. Biz bu sistemin içerisinde sisteme karşı çalışmaya devam edeceğiz. Umudumuz olmasa zaten burada olmazdı. So here we are, just ordinary people on one side, and the opposite side is the superpower with high techs, the highest number of weapons of destruction. And this is the empire which wanted and promised Iraqis Operation Freedom, which became in the end Operation Destruction. United States went to Iraq in order to liberate the Iraqis. What sort of liberation is this? that we have had at the most conservative estimate 10,000 civilians murdered. There is no other word than murdered. Do you, do you liberate them by murdering them? The World Tribunal on Iraq emerges from the constitutional moment of the global anti-war movement because there is no official institution of international law that can hold the U.S. and its allies accountable. 
not all of us choose to call themselves by their ethnicity or nationality. So we didn't call ourselves an international tribunal for it. Instead, we say we're a world tribunal. It is part of a new phenomenon of a young generation that wants to be a voice of consciousness, whether it's called a court or a mass rally or, or a demonstration down, uh, downtown. It doesn't matter. It's just a forum for ordinary people to express their fear and their anxiety and their hope. I thought that this tribunal was a public way of looking at the crimes committed, looking at the, the, the um, atrocities that have been done or the terrible deeds that have been done, and then coming up with a moral response to those, those actions that need to get recorded in the public record. Haziran'dan başlayarak bu şu Blair'ı ve tüm işgalcileri İstanbul'da yargılamaya başlıyoruz. I know that it's not going to be easy to listen to what we're going to have to listen to over the next three days. But let's hope that what comes out at the end will be the finest weapon that the resistance movement can have, which is a weapon of true understanding of what this war is all about. I hope that nothing is going to undermine the seriousness and the importance of not just this tribunal, but the fact that it is taking place in Istanbul. The participations here in this tribunal uh, represent all uh, civilizations, all parts of the world. And I think it's particularly significant that we meet in Istanbul, which is not part of the uh, Christian West, which has previously tried to present itself as the moral capital of the world. Irak Dünya Mahkemesi'ni duydunuz mu? Duyduk efendim. Şu an İstanbul'da Topkapı Sarayı'nda toplanan Irak Dünya Mahkemesi'ni duydunuz mu? Hayır, kesinlikle. Evet. Nereden duydunuz? Basından, gazeteden. I've heard about it when I was in New York City, but I um, wasn't quite familiar till I came here and went to the conference at Boğaziçi where I heard a lot more about it. Dünyanın çeşitli kentlerinde böyle mahkemelerin olduğunu en son üstünde İstanbul'da olacağını biliyorum. Peki ne düşünüyorsunuz böyle bir girişim hakkında? Yani sivil olarak yapılan her türlü şey güzeldir nihayetinde. 